afternoon again. This is your barefoot country cook in the garden. And I just took out of my little greenhouse with a hot house back there. Some lovely bean plants that are thriving. They are absolutely thriving. Actually, this is not a bean. That appears to be. I'm not sure exactly what that is. But <laughs> it looked like a cantaloupe seed. And I don't remember planting cantaloupes, but maybe I did. It might be watermelons, come to think of it. Well, if that's the case, I need a mound of dirt. But what I'm going to do is I'll put a couple of them in here, in this planter back here, and see just how they do. I have to look at my seed package now because I thought that one beans were growing. It's not. Those are a, uh, that looks like a cantaloupe seed that came off of there. Not sure what happened with the beans. I thought I planted beans. Let me look at these guys. Ta -da. Well, that is not a bean pod. Looks like cucumbers. Well, I thought I put cucumbers on the other side, so I guess I didn't. Well, anyway. <laughs> um, so, since I, uh, I know the packet of seeds has fallen down in there, but they have the leaves. The second set of leaves, and this is how I know they're not, um, they're not beans, is they're ruffled, ruffled edged. So these are more than likely, these are either a cantaloupe or some kind of a melon, which is awesome, because there's ten of them in here, I think, one, two, three, four, yeah, ten that have popped up. Now the mushrooms have showed up in this potting, so I don't know if they're edible or not, but if these are a chance that they are a vining type of plant, they need to be on a mound or they need to be high up. So the planter box there has plenty enough soil in it for this. So, but I'm gonna add a little bit of topsoil. I've got some in a bag in here. So I'm gonna throw that in there. It'll be easier to plant them. I'm going to take a few of these out. I'll probably put four in there for now and then put the smaller ones back in the uh, hot house until I can get some more dirt for another mound. And I've got a split fork trowel here so that I don't destroy the other roots of the other plants. And just gently lift one out, just like this. And I'm going to take the same thing. on one corner, loosen up this soil in here for them, put it right down in there. A colony of uh, ants decided to get in my potting soil, <laughs> but that's all right, they're allowed. Okay, so I've got three fairly good sized ones. I'm going to take out the three biggest ones. I'm just going to scoop them out very gently. Just like this. The second one. And then I've got to check to see what seeds these are. Because I don't believe they're cucumbers. But they could be. And I forgot to put my markers in there hothouse. And then one more. Because once I figure out what they are, then I'll know if I need to actually place them on a mound or if they can go flat in the dirt. Now if they were being placed, they could go flat in the dirt. I'm going to keep this little guy right in the middle. Now 
we've had a chance of rain today, so I don't really want to water them just yet. I'll wait and water them after the sun goes down. See if we get any rain or not. And these little ants are all over the place. <laughs> I'm going to loosen that dirt up in that planter. down into the inside of the pot and keep them pretty much contained until they start getting to the point where they want to get fruit going. There. Nice rich dirt in there from last year. It was only the second year that I was using those. So there's that. Uh, the tomato plant you see here, it planted itself. There must have been a tomato that rotted on the earth and when it rained and dirt got on top of it, decided to grow a new one. I've got two of them in here that did that. I have planted some in my hothouse for, uh, for more tomatoes. And those two little guys are supposed to be acorn squash. I have some herbs growing back here. I never have any luck with lettuce and I don't know why, <laughs> but the pepper plants are doing quite well and so that let me show you the and there's the pepper plants right there all those lovely little peppers growing right there I've got banana peppers and bell peppers so I'm going to identify the mysterious maybe cantaloupe plant and then I will be planting some more so please do share the video and come back and visit um this is planting season and it's going to be really busy around here so stay tuned god bless